Hey guys, so we gotta go fast today because we're gonna be looking at the Sonic the Hedgehog trailer. So I thought we could go through and look at um, the new Sonic trailer. I'm um, actually quite excited for this movie. Um, I know it's had mixed reactions online, um, but I'm actually really looking forward to it. So we've got the opening here. Um, it looks quite good, although I don't know, you have to really go for the sort of classic Sonic look, I guess, if you're going to use Sonic. So I guess um, they were a bit restricted about what kind of trailer they could have, but again, this looks pretty cool, I guess. So you notice here, right? The first thing I noticed about this um, area is you've got this um, sign here that says Green Hill, or Green Hills rather. So and this is kind of confusing for me, right? Because it still seems to be on Earth. So I haven't quite worked out whether this is um, a real Earth or a fantasy Earth. But um, has Sonic come from another dimension, for example? Like, has it come from Mobius or somewhere else? Or is this um, actually a, a different kind of world? Is this our world or Sonic world? Really hard to say. Now, obviously, Sonic's running really, really fast. And uh, this cop's sitting here on this abandoned road that looks like nobody's used it in about five years, right? Um, but still, the cop's kind of sitting there, probably having his lunch, maybe, but probably pretending to do work. But, um, yeah, um, Sonic's going about 800 miles an hour. Now, I don't even know if the machine would read that fast. Maybe it would. Um, but anyway, yeah, he, um, he's um, a sheriff of the Green Hills, so uh, that's quite a rural... Yeah, 760 miles an hour. So that's, I don't know um, if there's any kind of um, relevance to that number, but... Uh, so anyway, Sonic's going very quickly. Um, the guy's thinking, hey, geez, Sonic's shedding, you know? It must be warm or something, because God, Sonic sheds throughout the whole thing, you know? Um, why would he be shedding his quills everywhere, you know? Um, but anyway, I guess he is. And the quills are um, incredibly electric. And the guy's thinking, hmm, that's interesting. Some kind of thing ran past me, and then he's got electric quills. Probably a hedgehog guy, <laughs> I guess. I mean, that's what I would think. Oh, must be a hedgehog, one of those uh, 700 mile an hour hedgehogs. So again, we can see from the Sega logo, um, there's electric going on. Um, again, really, really fast camera through. Um... So, you know what this actually makes me think of, right? Maybe this is where Sonic lives now. Now, I hadn't thought of this before, but we just saw a big pile of junk, right? Maybe that's what Sonic likes to live in, right? Because he's not exactly the most fastidious hedgehog, I guess. Um, I'm just putting it out there. So, why else would he be playing music unless this is where he lives? Maybe he's, um, forced, maybe he's, um, you know, moved away from his home in another dimension, or maybe he's always lived here, who knows. Um, again, we can sort of see the design of Sonic. Um, He's got a huge head of spines or hair, and obviously his um, body is a lot different from it is in the game. It well, in the um, sort of 3D games. He um, looks a bit more realistic, but he also looks very strange. And he's sort of doing his um, stretches. So maybe this is his morning routine, I don't know. Gotta go fast. So the electricity is surging through him. So, um, you wonder why is there electricity when searching through him, I mean, maybe it's just, um, this Sonic has electricity, or maybe he's actually going to try to open a portal back to where he came from, I don't know. But yeah, he's running really, really quick, and he's run so quick, he set off an electromagnetic pulse, right? Um, now, if you actually detonated an atomic bomb in the lower atmosphere, that would create a similar kind of pulse that would wipe out the electronics of maybe some states or maybe the whole of the United States, but Sonic's managed to do this just with his speed, right? So you're talking about planes crashing, cars crashing, right? <laughs> this isn't going to be a pretty sight. Sonic's probably killed a lot of people right now, you know? Um, like, all the airports are, you know, out, all the hospitals will probably go to the backup generators. Um, like I say, planes will fall out of the sky. A huge amount of damage here. Millions, if not billions of pounds worth. So it might be a fun joke, but seriously, Sonic, you know, the military, like, seriously could treat you as a threat, right? Because you seriously are a threat. 
see what they do. What do they do? They call in Mr. Eggman, Dr. Eggman, um, Dr. Robotnik, whatever you want to call him. And he's played by Jim Carrey. Look, Jim Carrey. And he looks quite kind of cool. And again, he's um, chatting to the general here. Chatting to the general, being kind of rude and snarky and sort of saying, you're not important, general. I'm really important. Now, he doesn't actually back this up with anything, right? Um, we haven't seen him before, so he's um, kind of just being a bit cocky and stuff, but he doesn't actually have anything to back it up with at this point. Um, now, I quite like Jim Carrey as an actor, and I think he's probably going to do a pretty good job. Um, I am sorry about the dialogue here, but um, he's basically saying, you're not important, and he says, well, you're just a basic general, or you're just a basic, you're basic. Um, so yeah, he's insulting the um, military here. Which is fair enough, but um, again, have we seen any of his weapons? Have we seen any of his technology? No, we don't know what he does. Um, again, so look at Sonic, his face is really strange, you know? It's, um, his lips look almost human, you know? Um, actually, at this point, it might be worth going to, um, I apologise about this, but it uh, might be worth looking at uh, what Sonic actually looks like, or you know what he looks like during the, in the games. Um, oh dear, I've lost my files. I've lost my files. Yeah. Okay, we go to Sonic. Um, I found you, Baker. <laughs> he does look a bit, you know, a bit startled. So I've been looking on Facebook and downloading a few um, videos, well, a few um, pictures and stuff. So yeah, as you can see, right, this would be a far more sort of traditional looking Sonic, right? The eyes are kind of joined together, the eyes are kind of quite far apart and they're kind of split apart. He looks a bit more like a hedgehog here, but you know, he's kind of a blue cartoon character, he doesn't really need to look like a hedgehog. Um, again, he's, he's been drinking a lot, he's got his beer belly on, um, he's lost his gloves, right? Now his arms are all furry and blue, I mean, it's kind of a bit strange, I mean, here they, I don't know, something about this design is kind of aesthetically pleasing, he's got his little tail at the back here, or spines or whatever, and again, he's kind of lost his tail, you know, he kind of looks like a naked man, <laughs> a little bit, if I'm honest, um, but uh, yeah, I know he's covered in fur or spines or whatever they are. Um, again, you've lost the big shoes, right? The shoes are kind of Nike shoes, right, by the looks of it, Nike. Whereas, um, here they're sort of his, um, you know, classic shoes. Um, so, again, quite a big, quite a lot of differences. Here his head's kind of smooth, right, but here it's all kind of a bit, a bit more bouncy and stuff, and I know this is, um, kind of an artist's, um, well, it's, it's kind of a mock-up or, you know, an image that's being released, but still, the difference is pretty huge, you know. The mouth here looks really strange, you know, he's kind of grinning, sort of thinking, I don't know, can he do anything but grin? I mean, it's kind of a biologically quite strange, isn't it? But anyway, I uh, I think the movie will still be good, and I think we'll probably kind of come to accept how he looks in the movie himself. But as we go through a few other, we've already seen that one, um, it's kind of wiping sweat off the heel. Oh, jeez, what have they done for me? Oh, this stuff I thought was quite good. Breaking news. Jim Carrey has severe back pain. The actor is suffering from having to carry the entire Sonic movie. Ow, I don't think it'd be quite that bad. But yeah, he, he certainly um, carries most of the trailer, you know. He's quite funny um, in the trailer, and he's probably going to be quite a good kind of uh, Eggman. We'll kind of see him later in the trailer when um, a few scenes are released. Um, yeah, it really looks like Planet of the Apes right there. Obviously, it's a bit of a mock up. And, but you have Snorlax, oh jeez. Um, again, credit to the author here. I, I mean, the person who drew it, you can see, um, bro... Oh, you can read it for yourself, but I definitely check, um, check out the author. Uh, that's pretty much it. My dad said that uh, Sonic actually reminded him of the Grinch, except in blue, and I can kind of see what, what he means, right? <laughs> he does actually look a little tiny bit like the Grinch, I guess. Which, again, I think was a Jim Carrey movie. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's certainly um, a parallel there. So, uh, yeah, let's get back to the trailer. Fastest thing alive, right? He's just run 700 miles an hour. He can literally dodge rockets, right? He's pretty fast. 
and he goes meow, pretending to be a cat, because obviously Sonic knows what cats are. Um, again, he's got a gun, does Sonic not know what a gun is? Um, and considering he can dodge missiles, right? Um, a relatively slow sleep cart, right? Just goes straight into his leg, can't even dodge it. And you think, well, geez, he's already dodged, like, like I say, huge amounts of missiles and everything else, but he can't dodge a relatively slow um, dart that's going to knock him out, even though they travel a lot slower than a bullet. Anyway, I suppose that's convenient to the plot, so Sonic's knocked out. Um, and again, um, I'd imagine we have a conversation inside the house, um, and Sonic's, oh, or something, and Sonic sort of says, hey, I'm a blue hedgehog from another universe, another dimension, or maybe this um, universe or dimension. You see, why I think he's from another dimension, maybe Mobius, maybe not, is um, nobody seems to like know what he is or who he is, right? So it's almost as if he's come into this world. Maybe from Green Hill to another Green Hill, who knows? But um, yeah, he's got his electricity attack, right? Now, you might criticise the electricity attack and say it's not canon. Actually, it kind of is. You know, Sonic uses electricity in the games. He's, he's also got his um, kind of flash barrier thing, which doesn't actually do anything in Sonic 3. But um, yeah, he does use electricity in the game, so um, that kind of makes sense. Um, if you think, well, why would he need electricity? Well, to be honest, if a really fast hedgehog threw himself into a tank, right? The tank's not gonna like take that much damage. The hedgehog's just gonna squish himself. But at least if he's got some kind of electric boom or something, it kind of makes sense, right? So again, Eggman, um, clearly in his lab, he's um, deploying his second vehicle. Maybe he should have used his first vehicle um, with a second vehicle first. Um, so again, he's got all his machines, um, and he's he's got his um, quill. So maybe he's going to analyze it and think, "Oh, geez, look at this thing; it's making electricity." If I could harness more of this, I could have robots which could um, basically power themselves, right? Maybe, right? Sonic's quill actually could generate all the electricity the world needs, right? If you could somehow multiply it. So he's thinking, again, we just saw a big ring portal, right? So Sonic can clearly um, teleport to a certain extent with the big rings, which is kind of cool. We're looking at the text here too. This looks like Sandopolis zone or something. Um, again, we started off with Green Hill, now we're in sort of the Sandopolis. Previously, we had City Zone, maybe it was City Escape, sort of set in um, San Francisco. Who knows? But it would kind of make sense. Um, again, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Maybe this is um, San Francisco, and Eggman's got all his little robots, and he's going to do a Neo. Look, look, look. Huge numbers of missiles here, right? These would like destroy a huge amount of the city if they actually went off. But Sonic can freeze time and kind of play with drums with them. Um, so yeah, um, I don't know why he was um, captured with a tranquilizer dart when he can freeze time and smash all these robots and things. Maybe he's just that fast. Maybe he's using chaos control, who knows? It's pretty awesome anyway. So again, back to the title screen, Sonic the Hedgehog. That'd be kind of good, I think. Just so we don't do too much of the people talking and stuff. Um, I'll tell you what I'd love, but I don't think they're going to do it. If they actually brought in some of the other characters, right? Um, you know, Tails and Knuckles and maybe even Shadow. I doubt they're going to do that. I think they're just going to stick with Sonic in this um, universe. But I assume he's going to try to get home, right? Or, you know, maybe. I was thinking, maybe this is Eggman's complex, right? Maybe you're trying to break in so Sonic can get his quill back or something. Or who knows? Maybe um, he needs to get home and he needs something, um, a Chaos Emerald or something, um, to get home. We'll have to see, won't we? And again, that was just a really awkward joke about smuggling children in a bag. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of funny, but it's kind of a bit, ooh, okay. So he's a guy and he's saying, I'm smuggling other people's children in this bag and Sonic's kind of talking, which is kind of funny. Again, there were a few flashes at the end here. If we can bring them up, because they're a little bit re revealing, right? So again, this looks like Eggman's base. Um, bit of a teaser, bit of a spoiler. 
Um, and then there's that thing, which is kind of weird. Oh, and look, so this is what makes me think that Sonic comes from a different dimension or a different universe, right? Traveling through one of those big rings. Um, it sort of seems like this might be the Mushroom Hill Zone, right? You've got the big mushrooms in the background here. Um, Dr. Eggman looks like his um, looks like his regular self a little bit more. He's got his moustache, which has kind of gone ginger, and he's obviously lost his hair, maybe through stress. But um, yeah, he's um, maybe he's gone to another universe. And look, what's he holding? He's holding some kind of jar. So maybe he's um, thinking, "Wow, I can exploit this new world." and it's going to be amazing and I'm going to capture that hedgehog and it's amazing quills or something um, and his glasses broke so that's a bit pointless really but okay that was the trailer really hope you guys liked it hope you liked the um, analysis uh, hey guys just wanted to give you a massive thank you for watching if you like the video please subscribe um, give this a thumbs up if you didn't like it give it a thumbs down it's up to you entirely but uh yeah please uh let me know in the comments what you thought and thank you very much for watching